What <laughs> happens if I hit generate and I don't type anything? Look, it gave her a shadow. I am an entertainment finisher, retoucher, so I work on entertainment art, and this is where Tomas and I have cut our teeth. Yep. One of the things I'm really looking forward to about us talking today, not just AI, but actually work. What's the visual language we're talking about? Because I think that's really important, yeah? So let's just take a tiny moment and look at the history of movie posters. Like, what did posters look like in the 1920s and the 1930s? You're gonna see some themes repeated in the future, which is kind of interesting. We have to absorb the soft data that comes to us as a cultural differences, how we perceive color around the world. Where do you get elements? How do you start doing this? And this is where the AI can help you and show how you can use Adobe Stock, some gen, fill adjustment by extending with generation fill and adjustment layers and how to make some assets. Keep in mind, this is not legal yet to use for commercial work. For Electric Dreams, it was a job for Amazon. I was comping. I found this image on stock and I have to tell you, I absolutely love Adobe Stock. Do a bunch of searches and then just go ahead and place your linked file into your image. It will show up here. You scale it however you like. I wanted to have some space. Make a loosey goosey selection. I'm in the gen fill. I want to be really clear, I'm on Photoshop beta and I have showing my contextual taskbar. I want a star field. Oh my God, it put her hands in. What I did to work around on that is I said, okay, well that was crap. I found this really great image on Adobe Stock, place linked, there it is. I'm gonna just select this, inverse it, Command Shift I. So now I'm selecting everything but this and on generative fill, type in nothing and just let it go. Look how cool that Sweet. is. Isn't that beautiful? Select those two layers and put it in a folder and Command T and transform it. And in fact, why don't I put that folder in opacity and then I can put it in put it back at 100% opacity, making that planet folder on normal mode. I can darken it down because see how it's not dark at the bottom? Just do a curves move and I'm just gonna pull it way dark. Go back to my layers, Command I to make your mask black. Take your paintbrush, 100% opacity, darken that up and then paint in with white. And why I do that is I can see where I'm brushing in, put it on screen because I want it to show through. And then maybe I'll put a color correction on it to make it warmer because the Electric Dreams had a warm color for the logo. Gen fill removal. So again, gen fill, make a selection and hit generate and touch nothing. I have a stock shot I put in of a gal. I've got a select subject mask. I'm just gonna command click on that layer, selection, modify it, contract it, two pixels, inverse it, command shift I, tighten up the selection just a wee bit here. What happens if I hit generate and I don't type anything? Right. But holy crap, look at this, you guys. Can I say that? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, you can say that. Look, it gave her a shadow, but I gotta tell you, I think this one is totally viable. For, I have a really pro. groovy brush, um, it's called the dust brush make it bigger, and then I'm doing this with a trackpad, so don't judge. I think the blue sky should be more cyan, so I did a hue saturation where I took the blues and I just shifted them to cyan. And I did a little color lookup to make it a little more Western sky replacement. So you can have, you know, wide skies, puffy. You've got your property settings properties, and you can check which one you like better. I like that one better for this one. Old workflow would be to go find stock for like glue page, right? Now, gen fill alternative. So I don't have to say, oh, I want a poster texture. I can type in gen fill and say, hey, can you just give me a white creased poster texture? Elements, I need clouds, I need smoke. Can I get it in AI? Here's a new workflow. You could just paint a cloud and say, I'd like something like that. Gen fill textures. No one's talking about this and I don't know why. <laughs> you guys can make textures, you can make seamless textures, you can make fire, you can make flames. These are all AI generated in gen fill and you can see the prompts there, flames on black, photorealistic, fire ring that you guys are gonna be able to get for free. It's watercolor action, painting action, pencil, cartoon vector, and it's gen fill. Thank you so much.